we're reading Dave from Alpha Performance, and they were gonna answer the question, if I have shin splints when I run, what should I wear? Compression socks or calf sleeves? Either of them can be helpful to reduce the pain of shin splints because they keep fluid moving and they support the muscles around the shin bone so that it doesn't feel like there's so much vibration. The muscles don't feel like they're wobbling so much. Um, so they can give you a lot of uh, relief from shin splints um, by using socks or sleeves. But which one is right for you? Okay, so typically with our clients, we're gonna say you wanna wear compression socks. They're probably gonna be more effective for you if you also have swelling. So if you have shin pain, and shin splint pain is usually in this middle third right here, but if you notice around your ankles that you're getting swelling, you wanna make sure that the compression is below that level and it's gonna help move that fluid away. So if you have swelling below the ankle, in addition to shin pain, you're gonna wear socks. Also, if you have tendon pain, so specific pain around the ankle bone right here, not just up in the shin, if it comes around this curve like a C in the ankle, you wanna make sure that you have compression there too to support that tendon. And then the last reason is if you also have something called plantar fasciitis or if you have Achilles problems. Again, you're seeing a trend here. If you have other issues going on below the ankle, you wanna make sure that the compression supports those as well. Now, a reason, reasons that you would wear a calf sleeve, one of the biggest ones is if you have really massive calves. If you have really thick muscles, um, getting the ankle of a smaller sock and then to stretch it up to accommodate a big calf could be problematic. So if you tend to be somebody with your pant sizes that you always notice that you're really tight around the calf, you might want to start with a sleeve instead. Another reason is you tend to be someone that gets sweaty feet or has to do a lot of blister care because you may not want you to take that compression sock on and off all the time um, when you're changing socks or changing dressings. So again, if you have sweaty feet or deal with a lot of blisters, you might want to go with the sleeve first. And the last one would be is if you tend to have bunions. And this isn't for everybody, um, but bunions are a, a problem, kind of a deformity uh, at the big toe where the toes starts to uh, kind of migrate over and squish the other ones. And so we've just noticed that depending on the, the manufacturer of the sock or the style, sometimes if you get too much compression here, and you have someone that already has a toe that's kind of drifting, that can be really problematic after a long run or hike. So that would be the third reason why you might want to choose compression sleeves instead of socks. Now regardless of which one you choose, you follow the manufacturer's instructions for sizing. Uh, typically the sizing is a measurement in centimeters or inches around your calf, and that's how you figure out your size, small, medium, large, extra large. But when you actually get them in your hands, we like to use the pen test to figure out if the top elastic is gonna be okay. For both of them, you're gonna make sure that the elastic, you pull up the sock or the sleeve, so it's just above where the thickest part of the calf is. If you, that sock isn't long enough and it stops here, it's gonna slide down. So you want it to be able to come up over the, the uh, thickest part of the calf. But then what we're gonna do here is you're gonna take pens, just ink pens, and put one in each quadrant, in the front, in the inside, on the outside, and in the back and make sure the top of the pen sticks out. And so then Dave's gonna stand up here, we might lose him in the video, but Dave's gonna stand up. What you wanna be able to do is just stand and move around on that and make sure that feels okay. If it doesn't feel like it's crazy cutting off circulation, I mean, it's gonna be uncomfortable because you have pens in your sock. But if it feels like it's okay um, here with just walking, then we're gonna be pretty confident that that elastic band at the top isn't gonna become too constricting as, uh, as your run progresses, or as you're out and away um, uh, not able to, to change your socks. For more questions about shin splints or other things you can do to help reduce pain with running, you can go to our website at alphapnr.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.